Daily Prayer Monday, October 25, 2021 Monday of 30th week in Ordinary Time Daily Prayer Monday, October 25, 2021 Monday of 30th week in Ordinary Time The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Jesus was teaching in the synagogues on the Sabbath, and the crippled woman was there. An evil spirit had kept her bent for 18 years, so that she could not straighten up at all. On seeing her, Jesus called her and said, Woman, you are freed from your infirmity. Then she laid his hands upon her, and immediately she was made straight and praised God. But the ruler of the synagogue was indignant because Jesus had performed this healing on the Sabbath day, and he said to the people, There are six days in which to work. Come on those days to be healed, and not on the Sabbath. But the Lord replied, You hypocrites, every one of you unties his ox or his donkey on the Sabbath and lifts it out of the barn to give it water. And here you have a daughter of Abraham whom Satan had bound for eighteen years. Should she not be freed from her bonds of the Sabbath? When Jesus said this, all his opponents felt ashamed, but the people rejoiced at the many wonders that happened because of him. The Gospel of the Lord May you continue to celebrate your calling as an adopted child of God, our Abba, and as a sibling of the Lord Jesus. When does the increasing of the number of participants increase the amount each participant gets of a prize? Most people would say if the prize is, for example, a 1,000 US dollar, and you increase the number of winners of that one prize from two to seven to four. Then the amount each winner gets decreases from 500 to 250 US dollar. How true that is if the prize is something materialistic such as money. But what if the prize is a sense of joy? The more people who participate in the joy, the more joy there is. Or as the old adage says, the more the merrier. This is also true of the gifts which God gives. The more who share in those gifts, the more everyone is enriched and pleasant. But if people hold and do not share the gifts they receive from God, the gifts soon disappear. God, our loving Abba, continues to invite others to be a part of the family of God. We should rejoice as more individuals accept their position as sisters and brothers of the Lord Jesus. Today's readings focus on the freedom that comes from being an adopted daughter or son of God. St. Paul is quite emphatic in his assertion that believers are truly children of God. Because of the Holy Spirit has entered into a person. 
an individual becomes a daughter or son of God. Adopted children are raised from the hair from a ranks of being a slave and are given the full rights belonging to the family. They are heirs to the inheritance of the parent. Since we have become daughters and sons of God, we are truly God's children and have the right to inherit all that God has, the divine ruin. We have a close personal relationship with God. It is not just that God is our master and we are God's slaves or servants. We are truly part of the family of God. Yes, family members do have responsibilities to the other family members. The duties we have should not be considered first as if we were slaves, but willingly undertaken because of the other family members are our sisters and brothers hands of the rain with us. Even our outreach to those who have not yet accepted God as their upper father should be in a loving way with the hope that they will desire to be part of the family of God. God loves us so much that God wants to share the divine rain with us. God does not just want us to be a part of the reign in some subservient role. Slave of the master, but as coherence of the fullness of the reign. Thus, God, through the, the only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, has made us sons and daughters. As God's children, we are entitled to whatever belongs to our Abba. It also deepens our relationship not only with our Abba, but also with our brother Jesus, and through him with all the other adopted children of God, our sisters and brothers. With our adoption as children of God, our roles and responsibilities change. More importantly, our attitude toward those responsibilities should change. We used to have a duty to care for others because we were slaves. We were forced to be caring, and being forced, we sometimes did not live up to our roles. Now we are members of the same family with equal rights and duties, and we should want to help our sisters and brothers in any way we can. Our living care changes from obligation to desire. We should desire to be of assistance to our sisters and brothers and future or potential siblings in whatever way is possible. This should come from a realization that the more of us who are part of the reign of God, the richer we will be. Some people may say selfishly that if there are more hairs, we will inherit less. As more and more children take their share in the reign of God, God's joyful riches multiply instead of divide. That is because the inheritance of the divine reign is centered on relationships, relationship with the true in God and with all of God's children. As we continue our journey to the eternal home of our Abba, who happens to be God, let us willingly and lovingly do all we can 
to share in the choice of our inheritance and welcome more sisters and brothers into our family by reaching out in loving service. The personal question or action for today, what implications do I see in being a child of God rather than a slave? How does being a co of the reign of God affect my relationship with the other co How can I better live out my privilege and obligations as a child of God? What can I do to help others seek to be part of the family of God? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord, God of love. Through your goodness, you have brought us into your reign, not just as servants, but as your adopted daughters and sons. You have made this possible through the life and ministry, death and resurrection of your Son, who empowers us to call upon you as our Abba, and to call upon him as our brother. At times, we have not taken our privilege and responsibilities seriously and have only focused on our selfish desires. For those times, we seek your pardon and forgiveness. Continue to implant your Holy Spirit within us so that we can live out our calling as your sons and daughters we make this pray in the name of Jesus, who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Đêm tôi dần dần về những ai lắm 